Several candidates for the year in elections registered today, among them the KMT nominee for mayor of Taipei, Sean Lian. As Lian seeks to make up ground in the polls, he again used a World War II analogy to try to rally his supporters, but by anyone's estimates, he has his work cut out for him. When registering for the year-end election, Sean Lian was flanked by a large contingent of supporters that included Taipei Mayor Hao Longbing and city council candidates. Despite trailing in the polls and running in his first election, Lian expressed confidence. The time has come for us to strike back. Today is our Normandy invasion, and we'll move bravely forward to victory. Lian used the Normandy analogy to express his vision of turning the tide in the Taipei race. But he won't have full support of his own camp. Yesterday, four KMT city council candidates from Nangang and Nehu districts criticized Lian's proposal to move Taipei First Funeral Parlor to the Shanjuku landfill site. Today, only two showed up to support Lian, one of whom was critical. When considering future policy ideas, if you don't have citizen participation or support of experts and scholars, then I don't think you should suggest facilities that lead to a NIMBY or not in my backyard reaction, nor should you state possible locations. The landfill is located in Nangang, where, according to the latest poll from the China Times, Lian trails independent candidate Ko Wenjit by 25 percentage points.